Good morning. Hydropower obviously impacts fish migration and breeding conditions. So the sector needs to adopt the mitigation hierarchy of avoid, minimize, mitigate, and compensate for these impacts through such actions as separate breeding or fish passages. Hydropower sustainability standard has developed good and best practices in this area. And as the San Jose Declaration on sustainable hydropower says, going forward, the only acceptable hydropower is sustainable hydropower. Therefore, we in IHA expect to see all hydropower plants adopt at least good practice in the issue of fish sustainability. In particular, operators are encouraged to use the how-to guide on hydropower biodiversity and invasive species, which you can find um, on www.hydrosustainability.org. Plus, the approach, part of the approach of CTG is the building of um, fish hatcheries. In November 2019, I personally had the pleasure of visiting one of CTG's sturgeon breeding grounds alongside the Anxi River, and I've seen directly how seriously CTG takes the issue. And while I applaud this, that commitment and the efforts that I've seen firsthand, I'm not an expert on, on the issue or the impact. So I warmly congratulate them on this latest sturgeon release in April, and I encourage them and all operators to assess their program against the hydropower sustainability standard. Thank you very much and good luck. Congratulations.